Check it out. Check what my best time is. 4.72. We're about to see if we can beat that tonight. What's up guys, SRT Dave back with another video for you guys. It's currently Saturday and I'm just getting back from getting some food with my brother and I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story but I actually let him drive the car home and it was a super nice night and it just got me thinking like, let me make a video for you guys. So today's video, we're gonna be getting some zero to 60 times in my car because I do have some performance mods that are currently on the way. I'm waiting super long for delivery time because they're made to order parts. I'm not going to spoil it here right now. I'm going to just kind of let you guys see when it arrives. Yeah, so we're going to get some zero to 60 times so I can see kind of like a baseline and see if the performance mods, you know, change those zero to 60 times um, after we put the mods on. So this is kind of like a baseline to see, you know, what I'm at right now. Currently on the car, we have a straight pipe from the cat's back. Obviously still have stock cats. We also have the Diablo tune, the 93 tune that comes with the Diablo tuner on the car too. We also have a JLT cold air intake. I'm not running the thermostat currently right now, even though I'm going to be putting that in soon. Um, and then we're also on a 315 tire. So that's pretty much all I have done to the car. Let me throw the GoPro on real quick and then we'll head out to Mexico. I got two full GoPro batteries. As you guys can see, got my stuff with me right here. So I think we should be good to go. Let me just give you guys a little warm start before we get going out to Mexico here. Dang, that thing low key sounds crazy. All right guys, we just got to Mexico. My best zero to 60 time was 4.72. A couple things I want to make you guys aware of. Number one, this car has full weight and um, it's got full interior, both seats. Um, another thing I want to say is that I weigh like 185 pounds, so add that on to the top weight of you know the Challenger that already comes in around like 4,200 pounds, I think, for this year. We're running at close to 4,400 pounds total. I'm going to be also using the um, timer that comes in the dash of these cars. I don't have a drag gear or anything, so that's what we're going to be using. Mexico doesn't have the flattest roads. We are going to be going up some hills for some of these, I would assume. I'm going to see how many zero to 60s we can get in this time. Um, I know it's getting dark a little bit, but we're just going to see what we can do. We are about to get into our first zero to 60 pull here. too impressed not too impressed five seconds bro I'm spinning like crazy and I'm on 315s and they have decent tread I mean they're not brand new but like the tread is decent stop the cap let's see if we can get another one here before yeah we're not getting any traction zero zero traction bro I guess it's time for some new tires I can't even hook on these bro to give you guys some zero to sixties it's kind of a wash I should have just did like <laughs> 60 to 130 rolls or something for this video. It's kind of disappointing, but I can't hook at all. We got a couple runs. They were like five seconds, which is terrible. Obviously that's not my best time, but I definitely thought we were going to be able to get like high fours. I didn't think that I was going to have five second runs here. I don't think I'm going to be getting anywhere close to my best time, but not in this video at least. Yeah, this is kind of probably where we're going to be at for 
for this time. I'll call it five seconds on a terrible tire. So we're gonna have to see when I get the, the next mod to the car on, you know, how times do. Maybe get a better tire at that point, who knows. But yeah, for now, I'm probably just gonna say that we're at five seconds. I'm gonna try and just easily lean into it. I can't hook at all. Dang, man, I was I was really hoping to get into the fours at least for one pull. That best time that I have was probably when these tires were new, but I'm not trying to make excuses. It's a super heavy car and it's not even putting down probably more than 400 horsepower. So, I mean, five seconds, zero to 60 is pretty bad in my opinion, but I gotta take what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be driving back now. I got a long drive for such a short time in Mexico. I'm editing this video right now and I really just wanted to come on here and give some thoughts and kind of explain, you know, what happened with the 0 to 60 runs tonight and also because I hated the outro that I initially filmed to this video. I came home and checked the tire tread on my tires because I did not expect to spin that much when we were doing the 0 to 60s and I actually found this trick online that said if you hold a penny up to your tire tread, Abraham Lincoln's head should be covered all the way up to his forehead on the penny. I don't know if I have a penny right here with me. No, I don't. But yeah, so if you put a penny face, so like heads down on the, the tire tread, Abraham Lincoln's head should be covered all the way up to like his forehead. And that's how you know if you have like decently treaded tires or not. When I did that, as you guys can see in the picture, his head was barely covered. So that kind of tells me that my tires were super bald. Now, it still had some tread and it wasn't on like the cord of the tire or anything like the the cord wasn't coming through so there was some tread still on there but obviously not enough couldn't even get a zero to 60 into the fours like my best time was four seven i think but yeah we couldn't even get a time right into the fours which is crazy to me yeah so i'm a little disappointed at you know our results but this is kind of just a baseline like i said earlier to see the change in zero to sixties from when we put the new mods on the car. I know my car has a little Diablo tune on it and like an intake or whatever, but to me that's fairly stock and um, doesn't really change too much from stock. That's kind of how I wanted to do my baseline. Our baseline number is five. I'm going to be sure to keep trying to do the zero to sixties and see, you know, how my low end torque changes when I do different mods to the car. That's kind of going to be my gauge because like I said, I don't have a draggy and I also don't have a drag strip to run quarter mile times. Maybe we can test out the function on the car one time in a video to do quarter mile times if I can find a spot where it's enough road to do that. But yeah, for now we're going to use a zero to 60s to gauge. Maybe I'll get a draggy in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a nice Saturday. Weather was great. And I figured why not do a video for some zero to 60s because it's something I've been wanting to do and never really made a full video on it. Yeah, put your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I'm interested in hearing, one, if you guys have an SRT8, what your times are, and number two, your thoughts on my runs and maybe what you could recommend I do better to get those times down. I think majority of it was due to the tire sucking. So, yeah, hopefully that gets fixed in the future. Yeah, that's gonna be all for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. More content on the way, as always. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.